Hey, what's going on, LOD fans? So today we're going to talk about Mystic Helper. Is it worth it? Well, I have been doing a test on it. If you're someone that used to recharge and doesn't want to recharge anymore, and you still want to, you know, support the game and still get something back, this would be a way to do it. Or if you're new and you're not sure about recharging, uh, this would be a good way to start. So, you get these prices when you purchase the helper. And what it is, it just, it gives you 100%. It gives you all of when you blitz normally it doesn't give you that it gives you like 60% or something like that it's something really pretty bad but it's a really good way if you don't have time and you still want to enjoy the game this would be a good way to do it you get a hundred percent plus those rewards and we're gonna talk about a little a few other things but first we're gonna do this you guys see we're getting full and I've noticed on some of them you get more than you normally would and you also get a lot of these mystic helper gift packs and we're, we'll go talk about it in a minute as you blitz they just pop up and you get them we're not gonna do that I usually always do the reset and this benefits right here it opens this benefits up and you have to do a match of each one Last Guardian, Arena, Skyfall, and such and such. And that's a lot more. Like, you get a lot of stuff for this. For, I think it's 28 days or 29 days. You get a lot. It's definitely worth it, in my opinion. And it, does, it definitely helps out. You guys can see. You're getting full of everything if you can't actually attend those events. And like I was saying also, um, I feel like some of them give you more than if you did the event. Alright, so we're going to move in into our inventory we're going to look at the mystic helper gift packs which is really good if you want to farm shadow tickets enchantment scrolls which they're they were important in the beginning now they're very important because they added a future to that for enchantment golden keys are always good as you guys can see, what I'm going to do is do enchantment scrolls because I got plenty of shadow tickets. What I'm going to do is use my better mystic helper packs to get enchantment scrolls because they give you the most. And I'm going to use the last because there's quite a few of them I'm gonna use these to get shadow tickets because I have more so it's like double so I feel like it'll be a better deal doing it this way so you guys can see I have 43 so I can play with golden keys and such and such but it does it does help you get a lot of drops and I mean just do the math guys 
you know, it's quite a bit. That's 43, 18 to play with. When you do light reeling with the shadow tickets, you definitely get a lot of good loot for them. You get quite a bit of stuff. I'm going to show you guys. I got plenty. I got to collect these and do this before reset. And I'm going to show you guys. No, no, Roblox. Shadow. See? You guys get quite a bit of things by doing it by light realm. Get a lot of loot. And these things, you get rare stuff. This is a rare chest. Definitely worth going for tickets. Instead of going for enchantments. I just need the enchantments. But for everyone else, the best thing is shadow tickets or the golden keys. Alright guys, let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section, and if I missed anything, let me know as well. Hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you guys on the next one.